Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So uh, we didn't realize it as well as I know a lot of y'all probably didn't, but we're actually going to do a part three for this entire video. So let's say that your customer wanted something different. They wanted something changed. They saw it and they were like, hey, you know what? That looks great, but let's add this or let's do that. So you've got a custom wheel like this and how do you fix it? All right. And so that's kind of what we're going to be doing on this video is showing you what you need to do to either number one, you already have factory wheels and you want to um, just do something a little bit extra with them. Or number two, you've got a custom wheel like this that we've already just finished and we're going to be adding some more custom to it. And so in this case, we're actually going to be adding an all black inner, uh, inner barrel rack. Right? And so uh, we've already got the black right here, but we're going to be adding the black inside here. So this has already been clear coated. It's already been cured out. We're all ready to go with the wheel, um, but we're going to add the black to the back of it now. So a couple of things that we're going to be doing to get ready for that. Um, the first thing is, is that we're going to sand down the entire wheel. And now whenever I say sand it down, I'm not meaning with taking 80 grit and we're just going to just sand it all off of there. Um, what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be using anywhere between 800 to 1200 grit sandpaper to sand the entire thing. Now that's not really going to take off any of the actual pattern that we've already put on here. But what that's going to do is because this is already clear coated, we are going to just mainly scuff the clear coat. And so uh, that's going to do two things. Number one, let's say that you just finished a wheel and you've got a lot of orange peel in it or you've got a lot of like trash in it or something like that. And you really want to get that thing like super, super slick and it's going to look really good. So. That's one reason to do that. You can take 800 grit, 1000 grit, 1200 grit, and sand down all of those areas that need to be uh, pretty much redone and get all those little nibs or dirt or trash or anything like that out of the clear coat. Now, of course, you gotta be very careful because you do not wanna go through your clear. So definitely be careful on that. Um, the other thing, the other reason why you would want to do that is that in our case, we're actually going to be blacking out this inner uh, barrel right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sand everything down and then we're going to repaint everything on the inner barrel here. Of course, we're going to tape up all of this area right in here. That way, no overspray from back in here spraying gets into this right here. Now, the one thing is, is that we are going to go ahead and re-clear the entire wheel mainly for two things. Number one, because we don't want a line anywhere around in here that the customer can see because if we taped it up anywhere around in these areas like this, it's going to be very hard as well as you're not really going to get a good line because there's always going to be some type of line that you'll be able to visually see. And then number two, we're also going to sand all of this whole front face down get a little bit of the orange peel out of it. There wasn't very much, but because we are gonna go ahead and do the black on the back side of this inner barrel, we figure we might as well go ahead and sand this down as well, and then go ahead and pretty much re-clear coat the entire wheel. Customer's going to be really happy about it, we're gonna be happy about it, and that's what we feel like we need to do to get the best possible looking coating for this customer. So, again, we're going to take, uh, in our case, we're probably going to be about 800 to 1,000 grit, and we're going to very carefully sand down all of these areas all in here, especially on these uh, flatter areas. We can get a little bit more. Now, the areas that we can't really get to with the, um, with the sandpaper, like up inside these areas right in here, uh, some of the corners, some of these edges like that, we're actually going to take a scotch bright, And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a red scotch bright and scotch bright all of those areas. So pretty much, I don't want to see any gloss clear on the entire thing. And so what that's going to do is that whenever we go to throw down our new clear coat over the top of this, pretty much, once we re-clear it, then everything will stick, everything will hold really well and have a good bond because it has a good surface scratch on it. And the customer is definitely going to love it because it's going to come out as slick as possible. And so um, the customer is definitely going to love that. So 
stay tuned. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get started on scuffing these and pretty much go from there. So stay tuned. All right, so we've got everything ready to go. Now let's pretty much get started sanding. So uh, we've got two different grits here. Um, so uh, we've got 800 and we've got 600 grit. And so the reason that we're going to use two different grits is mainly because, um, of course, for the customer, they want um, to have a all black inner wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and actually scratch that up with the 600 grit. Now, because of the way that this wheel is and because the way that it's shaped and everything, we're gonna have to re-clear coat the entire wheel. So not a big deal. What we're gonna do is we're going to just take 800 and scuff over these top edges all the way around and then knock off the high points and then take a red scotch bright and then get in all these little areas that we can't actually get with the sandpaper or that we feel like we may cut into because of course with 800 grit you have to be very careful because you can definitely cut an edge very easily because there's not as much material on that edge compared to like what a flat surface is so therefore um, just definitely be careful with that but what that's going to do is, is that's going to help us get a, uh, a more uh, smoother shine on the wheel as well as uh, of course with us scuffing the inner barrel in here with 600 we're going to come back in black it all in and then of course re-clear coat the whole thing the 600 you've got a really good um, scratch for the 600 uh, or for the black to actually bond into as well as whenever you apply the clear coat over everything it'll look really nice really good and so pretty much like I said we're gonna go through here we're gonna start scuffing everything down and um, get them all ready to go and then of course we'll show you guys the end result after we get done so um, on something like this if you already have a wheel that you've uh, coated but you're not quite 100% happy with it, this is the route that you wanna go. Or let's say that you wanted to scuff the wheel and um, you wanted to just add a candy to it. Uh, if it's already an existing coating, you can do the same process, kinda like what we're doing right now, and then uh, whenever we go to re-clear it, everything will bond really well, everything will stick good, and everything like that. Now, of course, you can also go with a little bit higher grit, so then that way it doesn't cut into the coating as much. There will be a little bit more in actual sand time because it's not gonna be as much of a, a coarser grit with the actual sandpaper, but if you wanted to, to make sure that you didn't cut through very much or hardly at all, definitely using 1,000, even 1,500, uh, just to re-clear coat the wheel, that's perfectly fine, and then that way you can go ahead, get everything super smooth, and then you're good to go. Most of the time, you don't wanna go over about 1,500, just because then you're starting to get into a really fine scratch, and then the clear coat may not bond as well. But in this case, we're actually gonna go with 800 across the entire outer wheel here, and then, of course, like I said before, the 600 on the inner wheel, we'll paint it black, we'll clear coat everything, and show you guys the end result. So, Looks like I've got a lot of sanding to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead, get this together. Now, one thing to remember is, is whenever I'm actually sanding this wheel, I'm actually going to do it dry. Now, you can do it dry, you can do it wet, that's strictly up to you. But the reason that I'm gonna do it dry is mainly because, number one, I can see where my high and low spots are on this. So, if I take this 800 grit that I've got right here, and I just start sanding, this right here like this and once you sand it just a little bit like that you can kind of wipe your wipe all of the dust off of it and you can quickly see where you've actually sanded at and where you have not so all these areas that doesn't look like a haze like that right there those are all the areas that still need to be sanded or still need to be smoothed out so you can see how um, from a distance, everything looked 100% smooth. Everything looked really good, and of course the customer probably would have been very happy with this because it's definitely a smooth finish, but to get that super gloss, super smooth finish like that, this is what we're gonna be doing. So, of course, in a situation like this where we can still see some of the areas that still need to be sanded down, I'm gonna lightly take the 800 and continue to go over that and over it until almost every bit of it is completely smoothed out. And so once all of that is completely smoothed out, 
then I can start moving on to other areas of the wheel and then of course we're ready to go after everything's done. So now you can come back and you can see how I've just got just a few little small specks all the way through there and then um, with all these little specks like this then what we can do is is we can take and if we need to we can come back in we can uh, sand that out a little bit more if we wanted to or the clear coat itself will actually cover all of this right here really well so if we wanted to stop like that we definitely could it's not going to hurt anything so I'm going to continue on sanding with this once I've got all of my straight areas and my uh, my my all of these areas right here that I'm doing in the sandpaper I'm gonna switch over to a red scotch bright and then of course get all these areas that I cannot get to with the red scotch bright and then after that then we'll be ready to go for clear coating so looks like I've got a lot of sanding to do so stay tuned you can see the time-lapse video on this um, for me I've got a few hours of work ahead of me so here we go So now that I've got all that sanding done, now we're ready to start spraying the back side of the wheel and getting everything done. So uh, like what you saw in the video, I have already sanded this entire wheel all the way around on the front side as well as the inner wheel. So again, what we did was is we went through, we have the red scotch bright all the way around this top portion as well as on the inside and then we also came back in with sandpaper uh, 800 to 1000 grit on the top right here because we're not going to be um, redoing anything on this so we just want the clear coat to stick so 800 to 1000 you can even go to 1500 uh, perfectly fine on just being able to sand it and then re-clear it. And then, of course, we're gonna go on the inside. Inside, we hit it with 600, so then that way, uh, everything will stick to it really well. And then we're going to black the inner barrel out on the inside, so of course, the 600 is a really good uh, grit to use on that. So, we got everything ready to go. We're gonna go ahead, uh, pop it in the uh, paint booth. We're gonna spray everything, get everything nice and black, uh, make everything look good on the inside barrel, and then uh, show you guys the end result after we get it all clear coated, so stay tuned. video had to get in all of these areas all the way around here and then of course uh, we came back in and with the black on the inside barrel now now that we have the black on all of it then um, we came back in clear coated all of the inner barrel as well as the back side of these spokes and everything and uh, it definitely came out very very nice so uh, so now that we got all these finished, we're going to get all these packed up, get all these ready to go, send them back to the customer, and let him enjoy these custom one-off wheels in um, the blue candy carbon fiber while he's riding around in his McLaren. So I think he's really going to love this. It's really going to make the car pop, and um, I think uh, these are definitely going to be a big hit, especially on the car, because they will be a full one-of-a-kind look on the car. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know we always do. If you have haven't already definitely hit the subscribe button we'd love to have you to 
the sub subscribe. There we go. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks videos. Uh, we do them all the time on uh, pretty much anything hydrographic related or anything like that. Also, if you haven't already, uh, let us know in the comment section below what you think about these things. Do you like them? Do you like them with the blue better? Do you like them with the black better? Which one do you like better? And uh, we'd love to hear from you. So, I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts. We're making